we will start the class in five minutes. Okay. You also can take a break. Okay.
Chris Bell. So remember the formula that we discussed, right? The four important formula which I told you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So based on that, start solving this problem. Start solving. Textbook. In this problem, you have cos 9x minus cos 5x. So what we need to use is cos A minus cos B, which is given as minus 2 sine of A plus B by 2 sine of A minus B by 2. Right. So if I take the LHS, this will be minus 2 sine of A plus B by 2, which is going to be 7x, sine of A minus B by 2, which is going to be 2x. Because 9 minus 5 is 4, 4 by 2 is 2. The whole divided by sine C, sine A minus sine B. So it is sine 17x minus sine 3x, right? So if I take this to be A and this to be B, the formula is going to be 2 cos of A plus B by 2 sine of A minus B by 2. So take that and substitute it here. So it will be 2 cos of 17 plus 3 by 2. That is 10x into sine of 17 minus 3x by 2, which is going to be 7x. So sine 7x and sine 7x will get cancelled here. So this will be my 2 and 2 will also be gone.
So it will be negative of sine two x divided by cos ten x, which is the RHS. Right. So all that you need to do is just apply the formula and cancel the common terms. So try solving the next one. So listen, the next question is sine 5x plus sine 3x divided by cos 5x plus cos 3x, right? So sine A plus sine B formula, it is 2 sine of A plus B by 2 cos of A minus B divided by 2. So take this and substitute it here. It will be 2 sine of right 5x plus 3x by 2, which is going to be 4x cos of 5x minus 3x by 2, which is going to be x, the whole divided by e. The next one is the formula for cos a plus cos b. Cos a plus cos b is going to be 2 cos of a plus b by 2 cos of a minus b divided by 2. So take this and substitute it here. So 2 cos of 5x plus 3x by 2 is 4x. Cos of 5x minus 3x by 2 is x. So 2 and 2 are gone. Cos x and cos x are gone. Sin 4x by cos 4x is going to give us tan 4x. Shall I proceed? So the next question is sin x minus sin y by cos x plus cos y is equal to tan of x minus y divided by 2. So we know the formula for sin x minus sin y. Right. I'll directly write it. It is going to be 2 cos of x plus y by 2. sin of x minus y divided by 2, the whole divided by cos x plus cos y will be 2 cos of x plus y by 2 cos of x minus y divided by 2, right? So 2 and 2 are gone. 
cos of x plus y by 2 and cos of x plus y by 2 are gone. So, sin of x minus y by 2 divided by cos of x minus y by 2 is tan of x minus y divided by 2. So, this is Right. Next. The next one is sin x plus sin 3x divided by cos x plus cos 3x is equal to tan 2x. So you have the formula for sin a plus sin b, which is given as 2 sin of x plus 3x by 2, which is going to be 2x cos of x minus 3x by 2, which is going to be minus x the whole divided by cos x plus cos 3x it is going to be 2 cos of x plus 3x by 2 which is 2x cos of x minus 3x by 2 which is going to be minus x so 2 and 2 will get cancelled cos of minus x and cos of minus x will get cancelled so you're left out with sin by cos which is going to be tan of that angle, which is 2x. Here, shall I proceed? So the next question is, sin x minus sin 3x divided by sin square x minus cos square x is equal to 2 sin x. So if you look at the numerator, it is sin x minus sin 3x. So it is written as 2 cos of x plus 3x by 2, which is going to be 2x sin of x minus 3x by 2, which is minus x, the whole divided by sin square x minus cos square x can be written as sin x. Okay, one minute. Correction. So sin square x minus cos square x can be written as Using the logic of cos 2x, it is going to be cos square x minus sin square x. So cos 2x is cos square x minus sin square x. So if I take the minus sign outside, it is sin square x minus cos square x. Right? If this is going to be cos 2x, pushing the minus sign this side, sin square x minus cos square x is equal to minus cos 2x. So, this is minus cos 2x, right? So, cos 2x and cos 2x are gone. Remember, 
sin of minus x is minus sin x. Cos of minus x is minus, uh, sorry, cos of minus x is cos x, but sin of minus x is minus sin x. Okay. So here what will happen is two times sin of minus x will become minus sin x. I took the minus outside divided by you have minus one. So minus and minus will get cancelled. Answer is two sin x. Solution. 21st problem cos 4x plus cos 3x plus cos 2x, the whole divided by sin 4x plus sin 3x plus sin 2x is equal to cot 3x. Okay. First of all, when you have these kind of problems, right? Whenever you have sum of three trigonometric ratios, where the ratios are either cos or sine, then what you need to do is check for their angles and take the average of the angles. So most of the questions, what will happen is the average of the angles of the first and the last term will be equal to the angle of the middle term. For example, 4 plus 2 by 2 is 3. Similarly, 4 plus 2 by 2 is going to be 3. So what you do is you always combine the first and the last term. So when you do this, cos 4x plus cos 2x is going to be equal to 2 times cos of 4x plus 2x by 2, which is going to be 3x into cos of 4x minus 2x by 2, which is going to be x itself, plus you have a cos 3x here. So the middle cos 3x is written here. Similarly, here what will happen? Sin 4x plus sin 2x. 2 sin of 4x plus 2x by 2. 3x and cos of 4x minus 2x by 2, which is x. Basically, you will get the angles same as the above one. Plus, what is left out? Sin 3x is left out. Right. So, I can take out 2 cos 3x from the numerator. Two, sorry, I can take out cos 3x from the numerator and sin 3x from the denominator. So, when I do that, I get cos 3x into 2 cos x plus 1 divided by sin 3x into 2 cos x plus 1. So, 2 cos x plus 1 and 2 cos x plus 1 are gone. So, cos 3x by sin 3x is going to give you cot 3x and this is going to be the RHS. Is that clear? Yes. Which values? Not matching, you have to do it twice. That's it. No other option. Mostly it will match. If it is not matching, you can't proceed with this problem at all. Okay. Mostly it will match. If it is not matching, then you have to manipulate this and there will be some common term here. See, that depends on the problem. In this problem, if you see, there is only one term that is left out. So, I know that it should match and something will get cancelled. Because cot 3x means I know that you should get only cos by sin. So, that's what we got. Okay. So, 
in some problems what will happen is if they don't match the answer will also be in terms of sum of two values the answer will change am i clear shall i proceed yes so in this problem if you see cot x into cot 2x minus cot 2x into cot 3x minus cot 3x into cot x is equal to 1 so if you observe the angles that i am able to see are 1 2 and 3 so what we will do is we will start with cot 3x so cot 3x is equal to cot of 2x plus x so you have the formula for cot of a plus b which is going to be cot a cot b minus 1 divided by cot a plus cot b actually it is cot b plus cot a it is still fine so what is the formula cot of a plus b is equal to cot a cot b minus 1 divided by cot b plus cot a so that is what i applied now i'm going to look at the first and the third term alone right so what i will do is i'll take this cot 2x plus cot x and multiply with this cot 3x then what will i have cot 3x multiplied with cot 2x is cot 2x into cot 3x cot x multiplied with cot 3x is going to be cot 3x into cot x is equal to you have cot 2x into cot x minus 1. So, what you can do is bring minus 1 to the left and this whole thing take it to the right. So, when you do that, 1 will come. So, 1 is equal to cot x into cot 2x is left as it is. So, the first term is left as it is. This term will go to the other side as minus cot 2x cot 3x minus cot x cot 3x and this is the required solution. Okay. Here. Shall I proceed? Solution. <laughs> 
this question is prove that tan 4x is equal to 4 tan x into 1 minus tan square x by 1 minus 6 tan square x plus tan power 4x. Okay. So when you look at tan 4x, can we write it as tan of 2 times 2x? So it is tan 2 theta. So which is going to be 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. So what is the formula? 2 tan theta is equal to, I'm sorry, tan 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. Two tan theta divided by one minus tan square theta. Now, I'll substitute the formula for tan two x again. So what will happen? This will be equal to two into two tan x by one minus tan square x, the whole divided by one minus two tan x by one minus tan square x, the whole square. Did you understand what I did? So I substitute the formula for tan 2x again. So 2 into 2 is going to give you 4 tan x divided by 1 minus tan square x. So I could obtain this 4 tan x. I need this 1 minus tan square x in the numerator. I'll get it because I have 1 minus tan square x, the whole square in the denominator. Okay. So, this whole thing divided by, if I take LCM, I will get 1 minus tan square x, the whole square, right? 1 minus tan square x, the whole square, minus 2 tan x, the whole square, which is 4 tan square x. Is that point clear? Right? The whole divided by 1 minus tan square x, the whole square. So, 1 minus tan square x will cancel this once. So, this 1 minus tan square x will go to the numerator, which will become 4 tan x into 1 minus tan square x, the whole divided by, see, 1 minus tan square x, the whole square is how much? a square plus b square, which is tan power 4x, tan square x the whole square is tan power 4x, minus 2 tan square x. Okay. So, remember, what will you get? 1 plus tan power 4x minus 2 tan square x. So, minus 2 tan square x combined with minus 4 tan square x is And this is the answer. So basically what you need to do in this problem is apply the formula of tan 2 theta twice. Is that clear? So only thing is you would have observed the order is swapped that said 1 minus 6 tan square x plus tan power 4x. Get the problem now.
Clear? Shall I proceed? Yeah. Raiders. Those who are not confident can look at the board. So the question is cos 4x is equal to 1 minus 8 sin square x into cos square x. So here, what we will do is we will write cos 4x as cos of 2 times 2x, right? So here you'll write it as cos of 2 times 2x. If I take the 2x to be theta, then what is the formula for cos 2 theta? It is cos square theta minus sin square theta. So here, what can I write? I can write it as cos square 2x minus sin square 2x, right? So for cos square 2x, I will write 1 minus 2 sin square x, the whole square. Why is it so? Because cos 2 theta can also be written as 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So you take this and put it here. So only thing is x is replaced, sorry, theta is replaced with x. So 1 minus 2 sin square x, the whole square, minus sin 2x has only one formula in terms of sin and cos, that is 2 sin x into cos x. This is going to be the whole square again. Right? So this will be how much? 1 plus 4 sin power 4x. Oh, you have sin power 4 here. Okay, one minute. <clears throat> So we come from the second step. Observe. So correction here. Since we need only sine square x into cos square x, right? I need to get a one that is clear from this, right? So to get a one, what are we supposed to do? If you observe cos 2x, what I will do is I will write it as cos square x minus sin square x, the whole square itself. So cos 2x, I'm applying the first formula itself. Cos square theta minus sin square theta. I'm writing it here. Okay. Minus 2 sin x cos x, the whole square. Okay. So cos square x minus sin square x, the whole square is cos power 4x Okay, so wait, I'll finish this in next one step. You need not expand this. So listen to this. A minus B, the whole square, can be written as A plus B, the whole square, minus 4AB. A minus B the whole square can be written as A plus B the whole square minus 4AB. Right. I'll tell you why I thought of it. You can ask me, how did I think of this? Because I'm looking at this one here. Whenever you have cos square and sin square, what should be the operation between them for you to get that one? 
So cos square x plus sin square x. Here what I have is cos square x minus sin square x. So is there a possibility I can write it in terms of plus? I thought of this identity. So if I write it, then it will become cos square x plus sin square x, the whole square minus, so don't get confused, cos square is A, sin square is B. So A plus B, the whole square minus 4 times A into B. So sin square x into cos square x or cos square x into sin square x, both are same. So 4 times sin square x into cos square x, wait. into cos square x, right? This will be minus 4 sin square x into cos square x. So cos square x plus sin square x is already 1. 1 square is also 1 minus 4 times sin square x cos square x minus 4 times sin square x cos square x is 8 times sin square x cos square x. Is that clear? So this is the solution. May I proceed? Yeah. So last problem in this exercise, no? Yes. So if you observe, the question is, Proceed. So the next question is, prove that cos 6x is equal to 36, sorry, 32 cos power 6x minus 48 cos power 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. Okay. So when you have cos 6x, can we write it as cos of 3 times 2x or you can write it as 2 times 3x also, right? So, if you observe, what is the formula for cos 3 theta? It is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. Take this and substitute it there. So, this is going to be 4 cos cube 2x minus 3 cos 2x. Hmm. This is theta, no? 4 cos cube theta, theta is 2x. Got it? Yeah. So here what I'll do is, since everything is in terms of cos, for cos 2x, I will use a formula 2 cos square x minus 1. So when I use it here, I get 4 into 2 cos square x minus 1, the whole cube, minus 3 into 2 cos square x minus 1. Okay. So this would be 4 into 2 cos square x minus 1, the whole cube. That is A minus B, the whole cube, is equal to A cube minus B cube. So what is it? 
minus 3 ab or plus 3 ab 3 ab minus 3 ab into a plus b r plus 3 ab into a minus b right because first term will be a square into b so it will become positive so expand this and tell me what is the answer you are going to get i think there is a mistake wait i think what he told is right on see logic is you will have minus here plus here because b will become square no so b will become square so you will have see basically a plus b the whole cube is there it is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b so here replace b with minus b is it Adanda, so you will have a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square, correct? So when you substitute minus b, what will happen? So 3ab square up with arco. So what will happen? It will become a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. What he told is right only. But it will be minus 3ab into a minus b, lesser curve. Okay, so this is wrong. It will be minus 3ab into a minus b. So take that and substitute it here. It will be 4, 4 ruler, 8 cos power 6x. So you have 32. Huh? Okay, let's see. 8 cos power 6x minus 1. Minus 3 into 4 cos power 4x plus 3 into 2 cos square x. Am I right? Minus 6 cos square x plus 6. Right? So how much will you get? 4 into 8. 32 cos power 6x six six minus 4 minus 12 cos power 4x. This is 6 cos square x minus 6 cos square x. Are they getting cancelled? Check So, a cube. 8 cos, so because there is cos square x term existing, no, how can they get cancelled? So it is 2 cos square x, no. So 2 cos square x, the whole cube is 8 cos power 6x. Minus b cube is minus 1. Minus 3 into a square. 4. Uh, actually, it will not get cancelled because it is not 6 minus 6. There is a 4 outside. So, 4 into 6 is 24. 24 minus 6 is 18. Then at 12 into 4, it should be 48. You want me to do it again? Four into eight. Hmm. Four into one. Twelve into four. Plus or minus a. So minus forty eight cos power four x. Three into two. So plus twenty four cos square x minus. 
okay so minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3 actually okay so plus 3 so 32 cos power 6x we got it minus 48 cos power 4x we got it this will be 18 cos square x we got this minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 we got this one You understood it? You did it. You know. Do it. Finish it. Puri zara. Clear Allah. Put it down again. Thirsty, yeah, it's closed. I'm not there, but see, I will think and let you know. If needed, I might give ask someone else. I'm not there, but I'll ask someone else to give you a practice in this chapter. I'm thinking of it based on your performance. I have to see. We'll go to miscellaneous. Yeah. So did you guys understand the concept? Can you try it on your own? So each problem, I'll give you three minutes time. Try it out. If you don't get it, let me know. I will. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Huh? Fourth. Huh? Fourth. Huh? Direct. Miscellaneous. Paniwara. Huh? Rendu on it. You will have only thing is if you take it as two into three x, what will what you will have is you will have two cos square x cos square three x minus one. Up under cos three x would have formula upon it square panir. Maybe one step will get reduced, that's it, but it's the same. You can try and see. See, the only point about this question is which formula are you comfortable with? Are you comfortable with a, cube, a minus b the whole cube or a minus b the whole square? That's it. Okay. So those who are online are you able to understand? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. So start with the miscellaneous problems. See, they'll be slightly tricky only, but try them. I'll, I'll solve it also. Booking it up. Here come. Try button. So, what is the first question? Don't look at the solution. You think what you're supposed to. See, I gave you all the possible logics that I could try it on your own. Don't look at the solutions. Whenever you have product of cost and cost, if you look at the first term itself, you have the product of cost and cost. What should come to your mind? Yesterday I told you, no. Cause of a bigger angle. I asked you to write it at the end of your book also. Go and check. Book I asked you to write it at the end of the book. 
Where is the light? Cos of bigger angle into sine of smaller angle. On the side, now you are doing it. Now you are doing it. I asked you to write it. Get it from someone. I told four times to write. Get it from someone. Okay, so let me solve this. So miscellaneous exercise, first problem, 2 cos of 5 by 13 into cos of, okay, 3 pi up, okay, 3 pi by 13, cos 5 pi by, 3 pi by 15 or 13, or? 13 only, oh? Mostly the denominator will be the same. So 3 pi by 13 and 5 pi by 13. Okay. So if you look at the first term, I have two times cos into cos. So it can be obtained as a result of cos plus cos. So cos plus cos. How much is the angle we are supposed to write? First is sum of the angles. That is 10 pi by 13 and the second is difference of the angles. You get minus 8 pi by 13 but cos of minus theta is cos theta. So you get 8 pi divided by 13. Right? Plus cos of 3 pi by 13 plus cos of 5 pi by 13. Okay. Now tell me what we are supposed to do. You need to combine this term and this term and you need to combine this term and this term. Why I got that idea is you look at the angles 13 pi, 13 pi. So you can add them. So when I connect the first and the third term, you have 2 cos of 13 pi by 13 pi by 13, yes. No, 13 pi by 26. So you'll have 13 pi by, right? So 13 pi by 26, which is going to be pi by 2 into cos of 10 pi minus 3 pi. So you're going to get 7 pi by Plus 2 cos of 8, so same thing, again you will get a pi by 2 and cos of, you will get 3 pi by 26. So cos pi by 2 is bringing a 0 here and it is bringing a 0 here, answer will be 0. Got it?
Done? Shall I proceed? Yes. Did you understand? Yeah. So what is the next problem? What is the next question? Did you get the answer? So what is the next question? Second one. Sin 3x plus the whole power, the whole thing multiplied with sin x plus cos 3x minus cos x into, we have to prove that this is also equal to 0. Okay. Sin 3x into sin x plus this thing. Okay. So what is sin C plus sin D? Sin A plus sin D. Wait, that's not complicated, simple. Sin 3x into sin x. So sin x into sin 3x plus sin x into sin x is sin square x. Cos 3x into this is cos x into cos 3x minus cos x into cos x is cos square x. Okay. So I'll combine the first and the third term. Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is cos of a minus b. Right. Cos of a minus b plus sin square x minus cos square x is minus cos 2x. Because cos 2x is cos square minus sin square. So it is my negative value. So cos of 3x minus 2x is 2x. Sorry, 3x minus x is 2x minus cos 2x. Answer will be 0. Is that clear? Got it? Shall I proceed? Did you understand? No. So, cos 2x is equal to, uh -huh. that's not the logic. It is, See, sin square x minus cos square x is there. Actually, I'll tell you what logic is applied. If you take cos of a plus b, it is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Okay, so don't get confused between two, two things. Like this thing is different from this. Observe, it is sin a plus sin b. Whereas here, if the format is like this, it is sine of A plus B, this and this are not same. Are you able to understand the difference? So this is sum of the angles. This is the sum of the sine of the angles. Sine A plus sine B. Okay. So having said that, cos of A plus B has this formula. When I take that into consideration, sine X into sine 3X plus cos X into cos 3X is actually, you can write it as cos 3X into cos X plus sin 3x into sin x. The same thing, can I write it like this? This I wrote it first. This I wrote it second. So there is a formula exactly opposite to this, which is a minus b, which is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. If you compare these two and see, 
what is the value of a 3x what is the value of b that is why i wrote it in the reverse so it is cos of a minus b 3x minus x so this will lead you to cos 2x okay that is the first part now if i take this term and this term okay what do i have sin square x minus cos square x no but there is a formula like this of cos 2x which is cos square x minus sin square x so it is exactly the reverse that is why there is a minus here so i put a minus here so this is also cos 2x this is also cos 2x they got cancelled clear with that shall i proceed okay this one so what about the third one cos x plus cos y the whole square cos x plus cos y whole square right ah uh, what is that we are supposed to prove 4 cos square of by 2 uh, that's it okay it's a simple problem only just go with a plus b the whole square so you will have cos square x plus cos square y plus 2 cos x cos y a square plus b square Hey there. Okay, you want to use that formula? Okay. Okay, that is also fine. Then you will get a common term. So this will be two cos square of x plus y by two sine square of sorry cos cos yeah. So you will have two cos square of x minus y by two. Okay, well, this is clear. There are cos for all the square rectangle square for example, you four eight. Full square rectangle. I know. So this one plus sine x minus sine y formula. So two square is four. Four cos square. correct that's it we are done no so what is common in this 4 cos square of x plus y by 2 you will be left out with cos square x minus y by 2 plus sin square what will be the answer this whole thing is one cos square theta plus sin square theta is one this is what you are left out with All right, da. X minus y by two theta da. Then I'll see one more problem. So fourth, 
What is the question? Cos x minus cos y the whole square. So it is looking similar to the previous problem. Four times something. Huh? Ah. That's simple, no? Similar problem. Similar problem. I hope you can do it, no? So this is sine into sine. This is cos into sine. So you will have 4 sine square x plus y by 2 sine square x minus y by 2 plus this one is 4 cos square x plus y by 2 sine square okay so what is left out 4 sine square x minus y by 2 you can take out so what is that you have sine square x plus y by 2 plus cos square x by y by 2 which is going to be 1 so that's the answer it's a similar problem. Done. So we'll do one last problem. Tell me. Huh? Sine x plus plus sine seven x. Huh? Oh. Progression. Four cos x. See, it's simple. All that you need to do is combine the terms which is generating the same angles. So I'll combine the first and last so that one plus seven is going to give you eight. And here you will have eight. So when you do that, one plus four is two sine of. So x plus seven x by two, which is going to be four x. Cos of x minus 7x by 2, which is going to be 3x. Plus, this will be 2 sine of 4x cos of x. So, I hope you understood that you will have a minus sign inside, but cos of minus theta is cos theta. Right? So, you have sine 4x there, which is coming out from here. So, 2 sine 4x into, you have cos 3x plus cos x. So, it will be 2 times sin 4x into cos 3x plus cos, cos x is going to be 2 cos of 2x cos of x. So, 2 into 2, 4. 4 times cos x cos 2x into that's the answer. Here. So I hope by now you would have understood what is the importance of the last eight formula that I told you. Are you able to do on your own? Sin A plus sin B. Sin A plus sin B, not sin A plus G. Sin A plus sin B, cos A plus cos B and the formula. You know to write it in the reverse also. Two times sin of bigger angle, cos of smaller angle. I gave you the four formula, you know. The, those four are the most needed ones. And in your exam, in your school exams also, they'll mostly focus on these formula and many of them will not be able to solve. Okay, you need to have this practice. Yeah. See, actually this chapter is over. How many more problems are there in this case? 10, 5 more are left out, no? Okay. So that can be solved on your own also. If you have any doubt, reach out. Okay. 
so i'll i'll update you on what is going to happen next week yeah that's it you would have got everything but everything is there in the message someone else i i'm not there tomorrow we have another faculty he'll be handling it sir online or offline online online